Welcome to the Palmdale School District's Employee Orientation video. This presentation covers the sensitive topic of child abuse reporting and your reporting responsibilities as a district employee. Here is school psychologist Michael Geiser to provide information and answer questions. Hello, I am Michael Geiser, a school psychologist and the Director of Positive Behavior Support for Palmdale School District. I'm going to talk with you about your child abuse reporting responsibilities. All employees are legally mandated reporters and have a responsibility to report incidents of known or suspected child abuse or neglect. So let's begin by defining child abuse. Under California law, child abuse is a crime. Children need protection because they are vulnerable and often unable to speak for themselves. Though a single incident can be considered child abuse, child abuse is generally a pattern of mistreatment or neglect of a child by a parent, guardian, or other caretaker. Child abuse can manifest itself as physical abuse, sexual abuse, excessive corporal punishment, neglect, or emotional abuse. What should you do if you're not sure but suspect abuse? When must you report suspected child abuse? As an employee of the district who is working within the scope of your professional capacity, you are a mandated reporter under California law and must report any instance of child abuse or neglect when you know or have reason to suspect that a child is or has been the victim of abuse or neglect. Reasonable suspicion means it is reasonable to entertain a suspicion based upon facts that could cause a reasonable person to suspect abuse. If you actually find yourself thinking the matter over, then you probably have reason to report the situation. If in doubt, always err on the side of reporting.